Hearing, hear ye. It is now time for the annual State of the Union Address. Four measures and 16 bars ago, the Nebraska EDM scene was taken by storm from the virus COVID-19. We have now entered a state of clouded purgatory. There are bars that are packed with people and DJs running amok with not a care in the world about a mask policy. Yet, any type of intense mask policy and shows that are bigger or with bigger artists have such a large stigma around them. This type of stigma is something that's caused by a simple divide. There's a very tight knit scene for electronic dance music within the Omaha and Lincoln scenes. This tight knit group of people care about one another and want nothing more than for each other to succeed. And that's what's really important. The issue herein lies the contrast between the opinions of others. Now, COVID has run rampant for what feels like 10 years, maybe even more, um, but really has only been going on for about 10 months. Uh, this, this inability, the inability to go to shows has affected not only promoters, DJs, but even people that just like going to shows, people that like going to dance, people that like going and having a good time. And this is where it gets really tough. We live in a really odd time right now, especially in this moment, January 2021, especially with where we're living right now. People are shot down for even the thought of throwing a party, yet there are bars in downtown, Benson, out west, central Omaha, that have packed spaces where nobody seems to care like the virus doesn't exist. This dichotomy here is going to be the issue. And what are we to do about it? And how are we to fix this? I'm not saying I know. I certainly don't. But this is something that we need to think about as a whole on how things are going to return to normal and what that type of normal is even going to look like. This absolute dichotomy of what is allowed and what is disallowed with the ongoing pandemic, and this is going to cause a divide in a scene that is so tight-knit and cares about one another, between what is disallowed and is allowed with shows, parties, get-togethers, and the overall opinions of all of them are what's going to create an issue going forward within the scene. It causes frustration and confusion with everyone involved, and these differing opinions do the exact opposite of bring us together. Now, how, how are we to differentiate what is going to be allowed and disallowed? How are people going to be okay with certain bars being packed with a extremely lax mask policy, while shows and venues with an intense mask policy that care about the individuals attending are going to get shut down and canceled? The question is, do we sit back, point fingers, and belittle one another? Or do we enjoy shows in a manner that's safe for all? That's a tough question. And not only do these factors matter, but who should be the ones deciding this? This exact issue has been on my mind for months, as we've seen an influx of bar reopenings, venue reopenings, and an overall increase of shows that have been happening in the Omaha and Lincoln areas. Now, I'm not one to judge whether these shows should or shouldn't happen, but the increase in these shows have caused a lot of frustration with a lot of people a lot of butting heads and belittling one another when, in reality, we could just come together and have a real conversation about what's important. The question would be, should the people that put on these shows and risk their livelihoods to try to put on these performances for others be at risk of losing everything that they've come to enjoy and their monetary ability to survive? Or... Should people just be able to enjoy the shows that they attend um, if they choose to put themselves at risk? All of these questions are unable to be decided by me, but it's important that we come together as a whole and come to a type of consensus or at least have a healthy conversation rather than just hurting one another, rather than just belittling them or deciding that they should be gone and thrown away just because they have a different opinion on what they think they're comfortable with. We have to decide on something, and this something needs to have everyone in mind. 
But, on a brighter note, how's it going? Uh, I am DJ Boss Bus, and I have an EP coming out in a few months. There are songs that have already been released, um, as well as a few that are currently cooking in the Ableton oven itself, uh, ready to be baked at 425 for another few months here. And I'm also a part of a rap group as well, uh, the Bus Boys, which we're going to have a four-song EP coming out in a few months as well. And I, I want to briefly touch on the future, because that's, that's really what this is all about. And this partially touches on the reason why all of this matters to me. I want to perform, but I want to do it in a safe manner. But I also want to understand and have the ability to understand that other people that do put on these shows have to make money to live. I am so fortunate enough to have an occupation where I can be safe, where I don't have to worry about hurting others or being hurt myself or contracting something, or anything of the sort. And I think this conversation is really vital for us going forward, as a whole, because that's what we are. In regard to the future as well, um, I do a weekly podcast, and I wanted to touch on that. Um, I bring in other artists, other people that are in the scene, um, just friends and people who have really supported me and just helped me along the way become the person that I am. Um, everyone that's been on the podcast has had an impact in my life, and I want to continue that. But in order to do so, I need help from you. I need to know what you would like to see in the podcast going forward. Uh, my podcast, Between the Cheeks, um, it's been really great so far, but I want to know, who should I have on? What type of questions should I ask people? What type of things should I improve upon or make the podcast more listenable? Um, I'm working on getting more upgraded equipment to make it better quality in every way possible, but I can't do this without you. I would absolutely love your suggestions as well as what you, what you think I should do, what, what you think I should do going forward, because it's not about me. As much as I love doing the podcast, I want to connect with others. That's what's been the most important thing about this entire thing. We started it at the very beginning of COVID. Uh, and it was just a way that even though you wouldn't be able to see your favorite artist on stage, you could at least get to know them in a more intimate manner. It's, it's different. It's a different type of connection that you can't really get unless you're sitting down with someone. And I kind of wanted to recreate that, uh, especially just to let people in on the lives of people that make the music you want to hear and the people that are on stage that you never really get to know besides, a, hey, dude, your set was great. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. And then they have to go do other things. Like, it's, it's just a more intimate way to get to know someone. And back to the future, um, I, I want to know what you guys think about this as well. Um, I've, I've always loved making videos, and I want to talk about more things that are important to the scene as a whole, important to me, events going on, um, and just creating content that I can make to connect with others. Because that's the most important thing to me. So I'd love to know. Um, if you hate this, let me know. If you love this, let me know. Uh, if there's any topics you'd like me to talk about in the future, let me know. I want to do just something where I can really speak my own mind and speak about things that I think matter to us as a whole. Because all of this really matters. And the bottom line is this. The Nebraska overall EDM scene is a group of tight-knit people that care about one another and want what's best for one another, going forward and going into the future, and we are all in this together. So we need to come to some type of consensus. We need to come to a decision, or at least have a real conversation about what the future is going to look like and how we're gonna combat all of this. There are going to be shows. There are going to be shows and there are going to be bigger artists that start doing performances around the country and they're going to come here. Are we going to let this divide us and cripple us as a whole? Or are we going to figure out a way to make it work for everyone in a safe manner to where everyone can be at least somewhat happy rather than divided, belittling one another, and just overall making it a negative experience from something that should be nothing but positive? It feels like we're a family. And it's time for us to have a family conversation and an intervention where we're intervening against COVID and just have a real conversation about what's going on. In the future, that's what matters. And we can't let what we've had fall apart or crumble into the abyss 
from what everyone has worked so hard to achieve just because we can't agree on something. I'm Boss Bus. You've just been bussed. And I'll buss you later. Oh shit, I'm still in the frame.